it is vital for reproductive health, urinary function, and hormonal balance. Prostate problems can lead to pain and increased frequency of urination. Remember, some prostate conditions like an enlarged prostate can be reverted to normal. If you're dealing with symptoms such as frequent urination, a sudden urge to urinate, trouble starting or sustaining a steady urine flow, a weak stream, or the feeling of incomplete bladder emptying, it's a clear signal to prioritize your prostate health. But don't sweat it. While prostate conditions are of concern, simple changes to your diet can make a big difference. Check out this list of 10 foods to avoid if you want your prostate to stay well. Stay tuned till the end because there are some valuable tips to remove these foods from your diet the right way. Before we dive in, kindly note that all information you'll find in this video is fact-checked, unbiased, and reviewed by qualified professionals. Alright, time to swing back to the first food on our list. 1. Be cautious when consuming fried and processed snacks they are among the worst offenders when it comes to foods that can negatively impact prostate health. Numerous studies have highlighted the dangers associated with these types of foods, particularly pointing to a significant correlation between the consumption of fried foods and an increased risk of developing prostate cancer. In fact, research suggests that men who frequently eat fried foods face up to a 35% higher risk of prostate cancer compared to those who avoid such foods. This alarming connection may be attributed to the harmful chemical compounds that are produced during the frying process. For example, when foods are fried at high temperatures, they can develop heterocyclic amines and acrylamide substances that have been identified as potentially carcinogenic. These compounds form as a result of the reaction between sugars and amino acids in the food when exposed to the extreme heat of frying. While these findings are concerning, it's important to note that more research is needed to fully understand the extent of the risks these compounds pose. However, given the preliminary evidence, it's wise to limit the intake of fried and processed snacks, opting instead for healthier alternatives to support long-term prostate health. 2. A study published in Nature in 2016 revealed a striking connection between high consumption of saturated fat and the risk of developing aggressive prostate cancer. According to the study, individuals who consume large amounts of saturated fat may be at a 51% higher risk of developing this more severe form of the disease compared to those who consume lower amounts. The underlying mechanisms behind this increased risk are still under investigation. But one prominent theory suggests that a diet rich in saturated fat may lead to an elevated release of the male hormone testosterone. Testosterone is known to play a significant role in the development and progression of prostate cancer, potentially fueling the growth and spread of cancerous cells within the prostate gland. Saturated fats are abundant in certain types of foods, particularly in fatty meats like beef, pork, and lamb, with an even higher concentration found in processed and fried meats such as bacon sausages, and burgers, organ meats, such as liver and kidneys, are also rich sources of saturated fats. Additionally, dairy products like butter, cream, and full-fat milk, along with certain cheeses, contribute to high levels of saturated fat intake. These foods, often staples in many diets, have been identified as the primary culprits that may exacerbate the risk of aggressive prostate cancer. Given these findings, it is advisable for those concerned about prostate health to be mindful of their saturated fat intake, reducing consumption of these high-risk foods and opting for healthier alternatives may be a proactive step in mitigating the risk of aggressive prostate cancer. Though more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between diet and prostate cancer progression. 3. Consuming more than 5 servings of dairy foods per week may significantly increase your risk of developing prostate cancer compared to those who limit their dairy intake to less than 1 serving per week. The relationship between dairy consumption and prostate cancer risk is complex and influenced not only by the quantity of dairy consumed but also by the type of dairy products chosen. Research indicates that the type of milk you consume plays a crucial role in determining your risk level. Low-fat milk 
appears to be associated with a reduced risk of less aggressive forms of prostate cancer. This suggests that men who choose low-fat milk may have a lower likelihood of developing prostate cancer, or may develop less severe forms of the disease if it does occur. On the other hand, opting for whole milk may have the opposite effect, potentially increasing the risk of more aggressive forms of prostate cancer. Studies have shown that men who consume whole milk regularly are at a heightened risk not only for aggressive prostate cancer, but also for an increased likelihood of death from the disease. The higher fat content in whole milk is thought to contribute to this elevated risk, possibly by influencing hormone levels and other biological processes that promote cancer growth and progression. These findings suggest that men concerned about their prostate health should carefully consider their dairy choices, particularly when it comes to the type and frequency of milk consumption. Limiting whole milk and opting for lower-fat alternatives might be a prudent step in reducing the risk of developing aggressive prostate cancer. 4. Consuming excessive amounts of processed red meat may significantly elevate your risk of developing prostate cancer primarily due to the presence of harmful chemical compounds known as heterocyclic amines because these compounds are found in high concentrations in products like hot dogs, burgers, bacon, and deli meat staples in many diets that undergo extensive processing and are often cooked at high temperatures. Because foreign when meat is cooked at high temperatures, especially through methods like grilling, frying, or broiling, the longer the cooking time and the higher the temperature, the greater the production of cuz. This is particularly concerning for those who prefer their meat grilled or well done, as these cooking methods significantly increase the concentration of these potentially carcinogenic compounds. Studies have suggested that cuz may promote the growth of cancer cells, including those in the prostate. The risk is compounded when processed meats are consumed frequently as they often contain additional preservatives and additives that can further contribute to cancer risk. To reduce the risk of prostate cancer linked to meat consumption, it may be wise to consider gentler cooking methods such as baking, roasting, or steaming. These methods produce fewer as compared to grilling or frying, thus potentially lowering the associated cancer risk. Additionally, Moderating the intake of processed red meats and opting for healthier alternatives can be a crucial step in protecting prostate health. 5. The research on the connection between alcohol consumption and prostate health is still relatively limited. Emerging studies suggest a significant length, particularly concerning the risk of developing high-grade prostate cancer for those who regularly consume seven or more alcoholic drinks per week. Especially if this habit begins at a young age, the risk of developing aggressive forms of prostate cancer may increase by up to threefold. This startling statistic highlights the potential dangers of heavy and prolonged alcohol consumption for prostate health. The exact mechanisms behind this heightened risk are still under investigation, but it is believed that alcohol may influence hormonal balance and other biological processes that contribute to cancer development. Additionally, alcohol can act as a toxin to the body cells, including those in the prostate, which may promote the initiation and progression of cancer. Being the risk of cancer, alcohol consumption can exacerbate existing prostate conditions, particularly urinary tract symptoms, for individuals already experiencing prostate issues such as benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH or prostatitis, alcohol may worsen symptoms like frequent urination, urgency, and difficulty in urination. This occurs because alcohol acts as a diuretic, increasing urine production and irritating the bladder and urinary tract. Given these potential risks, it's important for men to be mindful of their alcohol consumption particularly if they have a family history of prostate cancer or are experiencing prostate-related symptoms. Limiting alcohol intake could be a key factor in reducing the risk of developing aggressive prostate cancer and managing existing prostate conditions more effectively.